Hi, we're here at Amoeba Hollywood. We're talking with the folks from Men, and we're going to see what's in their bags. Hi, I'm JD Sampson, and the first thing I found was this Joan Irma Trading record, um, Classics. It's from 19. 70s and 80s. Joan Armatrading is one of my favorite um, musicians ever. She inspires me greatly with her vocal rhythms. I'm Tammy, um, and I found uh, Madonna Truth or Dare, aka the Bible. By the way, you were particularly awesome tonight. I thought it was killer. Was unbelievable. Just killer. Unbelievable. Thank you. It was awesome. Yeah, I people were stunned. See how good I am when I'm pissed off? Um, and it's just like one of my favorite movies, and I could watch it over and over again, and it just gets me like really psyched and inspired to perform. Don't, don't Well, I found this, um, the Smashing Pumpkins Tear Garden by Kaleidoscope. Which I have no idea what this is or what volume one was, um, but it looks pretty cool. And I really like the Smashing Pumpkins a lot, so I'm willing to give it a shot. I don't, their new stuff is a little like heavy and weird, but. Um, I don't know, but it's all like paisley like this, like maybe it'll, I'll be pleasantly surprised. Well, we've been talking a lot about this band, Built to Spill. I kind of realized that our band is kind of like the electronic gay Built to Spill. Um, because we're like sensitive and sincere. Second time I, let you, let you ride the pony, yeah. I don't know, like the melodies are interestingly similar. And so anyways, I, I got this live record. I've never heard, I've never seen them live because I'm always afraid that, that I'm gonna be bummed out, you know, like when that happens. So um, this is gonna be my first step into seeing Built to Spill live. I have an old favorite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is Ace of Bass, The Sign. I remember when I was in seventh grade um, buying this album at like one of those um, marine like military stores where like everything was cheaper and I remember it was between this or um, when New Kids on the Block went by NKOTB and I thought this looked really cool and I'm really excited. Well I got this um, bath CD which I guess he played here last night. I honestly don't know an anything about this band or this person or what it sounds like, but a friend of mine said that he thought this guy was really cute. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll give it a shot. It's been seven hours and 15 um. I've been looking for this record for a long time. It's Sinead O'Connor's um, reggae record. I really love it. I was introduced to it by our friend and, and bandmate Ginger. Um, and it's really incredible, and it's also on sale for $4.99 and I've been looking for it everywhere. I also chose Eraserada's last album, Nightlife. It's just really awesome and dark and really like smart and inspiring and like I feel like it opens the doors for people who don't know about bands um, like 
Kleenex and Lilliput and the raincoats and stuff. And so it's just really cool. I got this Brazilian Thoreau compilation. Again, I don't really know what it sounds like or what's on here, but we went to Brazil last year and uh, it was really fun. And our friend Gorky from Banje de Role um, took us out to this bar and there was this guy playing this like Casio keyboard in the back and it was just him, like the Casio beats and like he was singing and everyone was dancing together and it was like really fun. Um, and he said like this was the style of Brazilian music that he was playing. So since then I've kind of been on the lookout for it. Well, thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank, thank you. you. Be back.